Welcome to Wise Owl Wisdom Channel. Nature Unleashed. Hobbies on state of warrants upon a time, in a distant land, the renowned philosopher Thomas Hobbes pondered the very essence of human nature and the foundation of society. In his quest for understanding, he envisioned a thought, provoking concept. The state of nature is a state of war. In Hobbes' philosophical musings, he imagined a world without established governments, laws or societal structures, a state of nature where individuals lived in a primal and chaotic existence. In this hypothetical realm, every person was driven by their natural instincts and desires, seeking to fulfill their needs and protect their own interests. In this land of untamed wilderness, resources were scarce and competition for survival was fierce. Each individual's pursuit of self-preservation led to a perpetual struggle for dominance, with clashes arising over limited resources and conflicting ambitions. Hobbes described this state of nature as a war of all against all, where life was solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. Yet, amidst this chaotic landscape, Hobbes also observed a fundamental truth about human nature, the innate desire for self-preservation and the instinct to survive. He realized that in the absence of external authority, humans would inevitably act in their self-interest, resulting in a constant struggle for power and dominance. In Hobbes' philosophical tale, the state of nature showcased the raw and primal side of humanity, void of societal norms and governance. It was a world where trust was non-existent and suspicion governed every interaction. The absence of a structured authority left individuals vulnerable and driven by fear. However, Hobbes' contemplations did not end in despair. He saw a glimmer of hope, a path to escape the state of war. In his seminal work, Leviathan, Hobbes proposed the idea of a social contract. He believed that individuals, recognizing the pitfalls of the state of nature, would willingly surrender some of their natural freedoms to form a social contract and establish a common authority. This social contract would pave the way for a civil society where individuals would abide by laws and relinquish their inclination towards aggression. In return, they would gain protection, stability, and the opportunity for a more secure and prosperous life. Through this enlightening tale, Thomas Hobbes offered a profound reflection on human nature and the origins of governance. His captivating philosophy sparked discussions among generations, compelling people to contemplate the delicate balance between individual freedoms and the need for an ordered society. And thus, Hobbes' timeless wisdom continues to remind us that within the depths of our nature lies the potential for both conflict and the hope for a peaceful coexistence.